Hey, <clears throat> welcome, and we are here today in the Botanical Gardens where I'm going to be showing you um, how to float plants with a medium pot plot requirement. Um, and by float, I mean you're going to plant them without permanent pots or plots. Now, where does this, where does this come in handy? Um, there's a few instances that I can think of. Um, invariably what happens is if you are an advanced gardener, you have quite a few seeds in any given planting area, either the interior or exterior. I'll use the Red Barn Farm as an example. You've got 69 uh, plots of evil magma peas, 60 plots of couch potato, or any variation thereof and you chip fairly significantly into the max item count for um, that specific area. And what you're left with is that's sort of the base. Anything that you go beyond that, you're looking at maybe being able to add an additional 20 plots with um, 20 seeds potentially. Depends on the variation. Um, what this is gonna allow you to do is to squeeze in an additional um, stack of either 69 medium or small requirement plants. So today I'm going to um, illustrate how to do this. There's another couple of um, instances where it might be useful, not only space, um, but also if you have a lot of seeds sitting in seed banks um, that you want to sort of store or have ready for double garden rewards. This is a way to sort of squeeze them into some of the spaces that may already be maxed out. Now, bear in mind, um, 350 is not the max. You need to buy actually two bric-a-brac potions to bring it to 350. Um, it starts off at 250. So you may only have 250 in that case. Um, you'll have to up um, the item count for the given area that you're going to do this in. So, um, with that, I want to issue a warning. In any given growing area, do not exceed 207 seeds, period, in any combination, whether they're floated or sitting, on, uh, sitting in pots or plots. Don't go over 207 seeds. If you do that in a, in a growing area, you're going to run into problems. Um, the top row will actually truncate and you'll wind up losing every seed that's floated and potentially every seed that's planted in that space. So again, don't go other two, over 207 seeds. That seems to be the limit. And I found this out the hard way, so take it from me. Um, so we're going to need a few things to really start off here. And just to let you know, this method works essentially in every house. Some better than others. There are a few um, that I've tried it in that it doesn't work so well. It still works, but um, it's not as straightforward. It works especially well in the Red Barn Farm. Um, it works okay here in the Botanical Gardens due to the way this thing is sort of set up. Um, and then the um, fantasy, um, fantasy Village, I think it's called, is the other... A house that actually gives a plant light. So <clears throat> if you have those houses, you may just want to stick with those. But if you want to try it in other houses, certainly uh, go for it. Now you're going to need um, a few things. Some of these things are easier to get a hold of than others. Um, to start off in Crocotopia, um, well actually let's start off with this. You're going to need a flat wooden platform. This is pretty cut and dry, flat wooden platform. Get it in the crown shop, um, under housing, flat. And you don't want to buy it for crowns. Click the gold option. It's uh, 1750 gold, pretty reasonable. You're gonna need one of those. Um, the next thing that you're gonna need um, are the tatami floor mats. You're going to need two of those. You can get them in the bazaar. 
Uh, if you can't find them, go to Mushu, the furniture vendor there in Mushu. Uh, sells those. Uh, Zlan, I think is the name. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But anyhow, those are available in Mushu. Um, out of Krakatopia, you're going to pick up a small purple rug. One of those. Now, this is a just-in-case item. Um, I can sort of demonstrate at the end where this would come into play if we don't run into any issues. But it's good to have one on hand. Um, so you're going to need one of those. That's uh, You can buy that in Krakatopia um, from Eric or Eric. He's the little furniture sales guy. The mander there next to the Krakos Sphinx. Um, the next thing you're going to need are medium enchanted crock pots. You're going to need 23 of them. You want to arrange them in this pattern. So it's uh, four on the outside rows offset. And then three rows of five on the inside for a total of 23. You're going to need 23 of these. So there's going to be 23 in each row, hence 69. Um, you can get these in Krakatopia. Um, the, the little gardening vendor there, Charlie, who stands next to the pyramid in the Oasis, he sells these. I prefer the Enchanteds. Um, I store these in my attic. So I always have 23 on hand. And whether I need Enchanted or don't need Enchanted, they work either way. Um, and I sort of like the way that these signal when you're ready to pull them. And I'll demonstrate that in a moment. So the final thing that you're going to need, um, and this is going to be the difficult thing to get. These are, um, and you're going to need six of them. Even though you're only going to use four in this instance, you still need six. Um, while these are tradable, they're difficult to find in the, in the bazaar. You can farm the bazaar and you may come up with one a week. The best way to do it, and it takes probably about six hours total, is to go to Hyde Park and Marleybone and farm the bosses, Sanio, Leary, Leary, and Willie Marks. They drop these. The only play, people are it's the only um, bosses that drop these. And again, you can do it over the course of a few days, um, over the course of a month, or you can try to grind them out, whichever way you want to do it. Or you can occasionally farm the bazaar. Um, there are a few people, and if you see them dressed like this character, um, friend them, because a lot of these folks collect these and may have six of them that they'll um, gladly transfer to you via the bazaar. But you're going to need six, and when you have six, um, for every methodology, and you'll see you're going to want to lay them out like this. They stack in a very certain way. And these allow um, for sort of half heights in stacking plants. So they're essentially necessary to do a lot of these. Now, you might be able to do this with some other um, item within the game. I don't know. I haven't tried regular crates. Uh, it might work, might not. Uh, it may build it too high, and the purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to build it close enough to the ground that you don't need a casting point, i.e. a rug or um, a garden gnome or a pole in the middle of the planting in order for the utility spell um, or the needs spell to hit every plant. So that's why I use these... Um, these vegetable crates, or crate of vegetables, sorry. Again, Willie Mark, Sammy O'Leary, Hyde Park, and Marley Bone, um, they drop them. Takes a while, but they drop them. Okay, so the, the way to start this out is to arrange the pots just so, and today, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna be planting 69 trumpet vines, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is lay out your pots, and then you wanna take um, your wooden platform. Now this house is even more glitchy than some of the others. I actually don't like planting in here, but it's the only place I have space. Um, I wanna call out one more need before we continue. Get a mouse with a scroll wheel. It's impossible to do this with a trackpad. 
So if you don't have a, a mouse, whether wireless or wired mouse with a scroll wheel, uh, get one. They're cheap, um, completely doable. So what you want to do is take your um, take your flatwood platform, set it down. You want to click it once to, to highlight it, and then you want to use the scroll wheel to turn it. Now when you turn the, the platform, this icon down here that says cancel will light up. Let me demonstrate again. Click, scroll. Okay, so you're not going to pick this thing up um, without doing this. So once you've scrolled it and this icon has appeared, you're going to pick it up and you're going to move it on top of these pots. And what you want to do is position yourself to the edge of um, probably the second row of pots like this and put the, um, the flat wooden platform over until you see bottle caps, about right there, or maybe a little bit higher. And then you want to scroll the mouse wheel again, okay? Everything's going to turn red. You want to move out of the way and pick this up. And what you want to try to do is set it down um, with as little of a fight as possible. Sometimes you've got to move the mouse quite a bit and it, it glitches worse in some houses than others yeah see this is a difficult proposition the other thing you can do for your first row is just right click it it'll set it down and that's okay to do on the first row you don't want to do the the right click thing once you've um, once you've pulled the pots out from under the seeds and I'll show you okay so we're gonna put this thing here actually let's try to put this as close as we can All right, that's it alright so now what we need to do is pull this platform out so we're gonna take the tatami floor mats pick them up scroll them get them in the right position and you want to connect them like this you want to grab the back mat or this mat here shove the other mat under and you want to grab the front mat and slide this out grab the front mat again and pick it up okay we're ready to plant our first row now before we do this I, I recommend you do something called a, that I call a seed test you want to make sure that a seed will go into each one of these before you start planting um, sometimes or for whatever reason either the plants are too deep um, or there's some other obstruction and it's not going to let you plant into those pots so I'm going to go ahead and put down the first seed now you can do this one by one um, you don't need the plant all spell but I'm going to go ahead and use it anyhow since I have it if you don't have it I recommend um, going back in the game to Avalon and getting it um, it's worthwhile Roger the shrubber um, is a little character who gives you that particular spell okay sometimes what can happen if you have a lot going on a lot of other plants is when you plant this first row um, the game might freeze on you or appear to freeze just let it go give it time um, to do what it's doing um, don't pour it away or do anything like that just just wait for it it'll catch back up and um, unlock itself okay so now we need to pull these pots away so let me get this small purple rug out of the way so I'm gonna put my flat wooden platform down I'm gonna highlight it I'm gonna spin it I'm gonna pick it up okay and I'm gonna do essentially what I did before right about here and boom I'm gonna spin my mouse wheel back and forth and lift the pots away now you want to set these down you don't want to right click because if you right click the pots will actually not pick up they'll disappear as an option and you won't be able to actually click the wood platform pick up and have all the pots come back in your inventory and then you'll have to exit the space come back in in order for the pots to reappear under the plants so that you can try to do the process all over again so this is row one 23 um, 
23 seeds. So row two is very simple. We're just gonna set the, the pots down and this is um, actually gonna be off center, um, which is okay. So the thing that I recommend is to put your first one down and this is your first row of four and then seed test it just to make sure. Okay, so that seed was plant in there. So we're gonna continue the whole row process, keeping them in line, obviously. And so it's four, and then five, and then five, and then five, and then four. And apologies for going through this. Some people would speed it up. Um, in case there's something that goes wrong, I want to show you how to either mitigate it or um, undo it. So that's sort of why I'm taking my time here. And if one won't set down, move your character. See that won't set. Everyone, you know, I mean, if you find something that's sort of glitching out, um, just pick it up and redo it. Okay, that's this is our second row. So we're going to go and we're going to seed test this just to make sure we should be good. Yep, we're good. Okay, that's row two. Now we're gonna pull out the pots from row two. Again, put your flat wooden platform down, highlight it, spin it, pick it up with the move. Stand about here, you're gonna get your platform right about there, bottle caps, spin it back, spin the mouse wheel back and forth, pull the pots. Now, same thing, you're gonna to wanna to set this down. And I know it's a pain. There we go. Okay, now notice I'm missing some pots. These didn't get pulled. Sometimes that happens. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. I prefer to just go back at it with this. But if you've got one pot, um, you can use the small purple rug and it's the same thing. You set it down, you highlight it, you spin it pick it up and you move it over to the pot that you want to pull, spin the wheel, pull the pot out. So it's good to have that rub just in case. But in this case, um, we want all three of them out. Um, let's see, there we go. Spin, pull, set them down, pick them up, done. Okay, so now we have two rows. Two rows. And notice they're floating, you can walk amongst them, no barrier. Okay, so now this is where the crates come into play, and what we're going to do is we're going to put down the wooden platform, get it over as far as we can, since this is a tough space. And we need two of the tatami floor mats. Going to connect them, grab the back one, shove it under, grab the front one. And this is why you need six. If you don't have six, you can't lay these on top. Does that make sense? This, this tatami mat won't lay on top um, of two or three or four of these. So you, you're going to place the, the whole thing on top of the crates. You're going to grab this front crate. You're going to pick it up, you're going to stack it on the crate behind. You're going to pick that crate up and stack it on this crate. Okay, and we only need three of these to complete the height that we need. And I think you can see where this is going. I'm going to get these out of the way. I'm going to grab this mat and be done with it. So, what we're going to try to do is get this as close to the bottom row as possible. 
but we want to stack the pots on this platform. So I mean that should be pretty close. Yeah, I mean that's close, close enough, we'll call it. Now, we're gonna stack these out, but what we're gonna do too, before we go forward, we're gonna seed test it again. And that looks good. All right, so we've got four there. We're gonna move this back just a little bit and maybe over. So when you pick this thing up, you're always gonna grab this bottom crate. If you grab any of the other crates or the, the wood platform, it's going to come apart um, and it won't work. You'll have to reset it up. This is another case where sometimes they don't want to lay down and you have to move your character. Okay, we'll do those last. But same configuration. Sometimes that happens. Where you place it, yeah, see it glitches sometimes, but that's fine. Just keep going. I'm gonna put my final three in on the end. Ah, okay, see how that came apart? What I did wrong there was this, um, I actually set these pots on top of this and that'll cause that sometimes. So it's cool that that happened because here's another instance where um, the purple rug is needed. You just set the purple rug, take it right out of inventory, set it up here and spin this off. And then you want to pick the whole thing up and you're going to start over. So we're gonna lay these out. And it's really glitchy to build in this house on the exterior. The interior is fine, but the exterior for whatever reason, glitch city. So same thing, two mats, end to end, back mat, shove it under, front mat, stack it, Pick up this one, put it on the next one, stack up three high. Oops. Okay, there we go. Get rid of these. Okay, so we're back in business. So always make sure it's facing the same way. Don't face it this way. It'll have the make it so that the pots are off. And if they're off, they actually bleed into one another and you won't be able to plant into them. Okay. So this is our final row. Again, seed test the whole thing. Make sure. Okay, we're good. Okay, that's the final row. Now we want to pull those pots out. Again, set down the flat wood platform, spin it, pick it up, come back over. And it may not catch the back ones. Not didn't. 
It's okay. Again, we've got to set this down. We can't can't right click it to set it down. Same thing. Oops. You know what I forgot to do? Click, spin, pick up. Spin. Okay. All right. So that's essentially the process. Now, for the likes, um, you can float them. I prefer to do that. That way, when I go to harvest, I can just walk right in the middle of this. Um, most of you may or may not know how to float. But I'm just going to demonstrate. Um, I use this pole. And you can use whatever you want. It can be a flag pole. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be this pole. Um, whatever you have on hand. You want to set your flatwood platform down, grab your small purple rug straight out of inventory, mouse scroll it, move your rug up, mouse scroll it, and then climb up on your platform and um, put your likes up here. And you can either exit or take this, move it, spin it, and there you go. So that's how this works. And if I get enough people checking this out, um, liking it, I'll make another one that shows how to do it with the small pots or plots. Small, small plot or pot need plants. Um, you can't do it with large, unfortunately. With large plants, you will need a plot. There are no large pots uh, in the game currently. Um, great, so um, thanks for joining, thanks for watching, and happy gardening, something like that.